Good afternoon. And this is the difference between when this one does the channeling in group sessions such as this and when she communicates with us in the morning meditations. We need to make our presence more palpable to all of you and for that reason we must ramp up the energy as you would understand it and that is why your gift of love to us is so important and so very much appreciated but the body of this one must go through a period of adapting and so the deep breathing that you have just witnessed does not normally happen. She merely communicates with us silently. And we wish to tell you that this is exactly how you can communicate with your team of light beings. Do you notice that we have not used the word guides? For we have been giving this one teaching lately that has brought her much joy and greater understanding of how it all works. We put that in quotes for what is it that we are talking about. This understanding, this awareness of who you are and how you fit into the grand scheme of it all. And you had a taste of it this morning in the presentation given to you by this one. She did change about the words a bit from how she has taught in the past based on the teaching that we have been given to her lately. Do you see how there's a bit of stumbling for the human aspect? Ah, yes wants to be perfect in the enunciation of the words. But there is the sole aspect of this one that does not care about that. And all of you must contend with this tug of war that goes on within you between the human animal aspect of you, the physical body, and the soul, both blended together in such a way that the new vocabulary folks, oh, you see what we are saying the soul does not mind but the human says you must say that correctly the new vocabulary has included that term for who and what you are a blended being you may consider yourself a human being but as you do that Become aware that to you the human being is the body and that puts you in peril. For when you believe that you are the body, then you have fear. For if the body can die and you have seen it happen again and again and you see it in your headlines daily, do you not? If you believe you are the body, then when the human being body perishes, so do you or so you think. Do not think at all. Go into the heart and know what the soul aspect of you has always known, that you are a light being. One aspect of that which has agreed to merge with a human physical body for the experiences. And we will not repeat the presentation of this morning, but we wish to tell you that this understanding for this one of finally understanding how it all works, not the body, but a blended being, a descendant of a light being, one in that aspect with all that is, with source, this has brought this one so much joy for she suddenly understands that when Source itself decided to speak to her as one voice, and you would understand this for many of you have read the book Conversations with God, have you not? And that was one voice, and that one voice has been speaking to this one and speaks to all of you in your thoughts. It told her to call it joy, for the word God or source does not touch upon what happens when you come to understand who you are. You are joy in expression, and joy loves the feeling of joy, and joy loves engendering that feeling in others. And therefore, because you are 
the arms and legs and mouthpiece of joy, which has no body, then as you create joy through your words and your actions, joy is joyful. You are this joy. Enjoy your lives here and fulfill your purpose. You could just as easily call source, and we have made sure that the channel does not say your source, for that gives the appearance of separation from you. Source, of which you are a part, loves the feeling of connection. Therefore, you could call joy love. Many of you understand this, for you have heard quite often, God is love, and this is truth, with a capital T. And therefore you, as an aspect of joy, in human form, for a while, are love in action, and love loves love. But there is a danger, and here comes the humor, there is a danger in coming to know who you are. For this one, who finally gets it at a visceral level, who finally understands how she, who is not a she, but is the light, stepped down, as are all of you, who finally gets it, is having a bit of a problem containing the joy. And on the way to this location, on the aeroplane, did experience such a burst of the presence and the awareness of joy and love that were not the seatbelt sign on, she might have made a fool out of herself. <laughs> Running up and down the aisle, there was a very large man across the aisle with tattoos across the physical body. He looked quite frightful to the human aspect of this one, and yet she had to fight the overwhelming urge to hug him and love him. And this is the danger, and we use this with a bit of irony and humor. For as you come to know that you are the embodiment of love and joy, and it sounds a bit Pollyanna to those of you new on this journey, but as you come to know your task is to allow joy, to enjoy its presence in all others, and to allow love, to see love in all others, why you will experience such an uprising of joy and love that you may also make fools out of yourselves. And would that not be a beautiful thing? <laughs> to us, we would delight in this. We are neither dismayed nor delighted as we see you go through your machinations of awakening. We are quite familiar with the human body reactions of fear and anger and judgment and criticism and all of those things that are part and parcel of a body which secretes hormones of all different kinds, not just the sexual kind, but the adrenaline the epinephrine, the dopamine, all of these chemicals that at times leave the soul saying, it is out of control. How am I supposed to live in this body? But you agree to this for the experience. And therefore, we look upon you, our friends, with such love such compassion as you struggle to find the perfect alignment with this vessel you, yes, you, willingly chose. And we do often joke, as you emerged from the mother and looked about, we do hear the thoughts of the soul when you do say, what have I done? <laughs> yes. But it is this humor that will save your sanity as you face your human struggles. But even more important, it is this soul awareness that will save you as you face your future struggles and challenges. 
for they are part and parcel of life, are they not? You cannot get through a human life without interacting with others who are going through their ups and downs. You have your very own, so that you can experience, experience the fullness of the human experience. But as you come to know that as a light being, all is well, and that this too shall pass, then you find the peace that passes all understanding and is known by the heart as truth. I am this. This I is not the human being at all. This I, when you state I am, with nothing to follow, simply I am, this I is joy. This I is love. This I is you at the highest level. And you as a soul have always known that. And this is why you have come to this gathering of kindred spirits a bit farther along the path, the journey of awakening, than many others. And yet that should not go to your heads. All are equally special. Even those you read about in your headlines, they have simply forgotten their soul awareness. So focused are they on their human nature. Have compassion for them. Be a light unto them. And find peace. Is there a one of you with a question for us today? We delight in answering and we'll continue talking for just a moment as you gather your nerve. <laughs> Do not feel as the human worried. What will others think? You will learn with this one, should you choose to study with her, to surrender that and shift to soul awareness. You are there now. What is it? We can all learn from your question. Ask it now. How do we deal with the 5G that is being spread across the country and its vibration is going to be very damaging? Without fear, dear friend, without fear, for it is true that nothing is given unto you that you cannot handle. Do you see that there are merely tests upon tests upon tests? As you face a challenge, be aware of the human nature bubbling to the surface. If you feel fear and anger, it is understandable. It is a natural reaction. You cannot help it. As you notice this, may this be your clarion call to shift your awareness to soul level and beyond. As we have just stated, at the light being level, there is no fear. There is unconditional love, understanding, and compassion. So your shifting of perspectives is what is needed as you deal with the coming struggles. As you see what is happening, and we are not worried at all. For well, these are tests. You merely say, aha, uh -huh, I know there is a higher perspective. And if I can bring peace into this situation, then I can also access higher guidance as to how best to deal with this. This is an answer that answers any challenge you may face. Is there another question? In our human experience, for those of us who are passionate about trying to make a difference in the world, how can we find the right path when we also are facing when we are also facing ego-based desires such as income or recognition? A very good question. How to balance ego and the soul's path? How do you find your path? Get to know your guides better. Your guides are the light beings who speak to you now. We are your brothers and sisters, your fellow lights. Do you know 
that it is like a young child who is learning to walk. The parent lets the child stumble for a bit, for that is how they learn. But if the child were to raise the arm skyward and say with a plaintive cry, help me, then help is a coming. And so we ask you, as you know not the answers, you need not seek a psychic. For we are standing here saying, and what are we doing? Please ask us. And so when you do not know your path, who better to answer than the greater aspect of you? Become still, learn to quiet the fears and doubts. And there are many teachers who will teach you how to do this if you have not yet learned it. But in that quiet state, ask directly, what is my best path? Help me to be aware when ego flares, and then you will be guided moment by moment. Insights will come into your consciousness many times, sounding as if your own thoughts. They are put there by your fellow lights. As ego rears its head, because you have asked to be aware, you will notice, and you will notice within yourself a new way of responding to ego. You will, of course, slip back, for this is the spiral of ongoing growth that the human goes through, with a bit of slippage, but always onward and upward, a beautiful thing to see and to experience. And so, ego will always be here as long as you are in a human body. For ego is the awareness of being separate, but it is a falsity, a falsehood. It is part of the human experience, but you are a soul blended with human, a blended being, as we have mentioned earlier. And it is that very soul that has nudged the blended being to connect with higher consciousness for this guidance, for this awareness that will guide you moment by moment in remaining aware to ego's ploy. Do you understand? It becomes a dance, a most beautiful dance, and you need no longer fear ego, but look forward to working with ego to say thank you for helping me to operate as a human. But for now, you may go stand in the corner. You are no longer needed. <laughs> Is there another question, please? This has been quite a long day for all of you. You have all been sitting quite a bit, and while we are waiting for the microphone to be passed around, we will tell you that there is quite a benefit to your yoga. This one does not participate at all in yoga, but she does do some stretching, and we can tell you that even the most mild of stretches elongates the collagen and the fibers within the body, allowing the signals to pass through the body, which is indeed an instrument of communication. The soul is the bridge between the human body and the light being. You must ensure that the body is a well-tuned instrument. When you sit in a chair all day, you have confined those fibers. Stretch them out and allow the vibration of consciousness to flow more thoroughly through you. And now, the question, please. What do we need to do to build bridges amongst humanity where there is so much divisiveness so that we can transform that into unity for all? Do you see a pattern here? It is the same answer, dear ones. Become the light. You do not need to change your world. Is this a surprise to you? You are here to experience your world. And if you can't change only one being, and that being has your name on your name tag, then you have done quite a good job of being a blended being. And as more and more of you pay attention to the guidance of the light being of which you are a part, and balance the heart and the head, and become a resonant being. We have said in the past that we see your lights, 
And so to give you a bit of hope, you can envision your planet as we see it, with a grid of light around it, and each of you is a point of light. And you are well familiar with what you would call a dimmer switch, a real stat, are you not? Yes. And as each of you pays attention to being the presence of love, to actually embodying the unconditional love of your higher self, the light being aspect of you, and giving no heed to the human nature which has been the one to whom you have pledged your allegiance for decades. Nothing wrong with that, but you are awakening now. As you no longer give your allegiance to the human nature, but to your light being nature, indeed your light turns up and is seen by those in the spirit world and is felt by those around you, whether or not you are aware of this. Least of all, within yourselves, you will feel the transformation and there is no going back. And as we have used the analogy of a dimmer switch at the present time, your world is a bit dim. But as each of you are growing in awareness, soul awareness, who am I? As you come to know you are far more than this physical body, you are all turning up the dimmer switch. That grid of which you are a part as points of light is indeed vibrating higher and higher. And it is quite true that you are approaching the end of an epoch and you are experiencing a massive shift in consciousness and the light is getting bigger and you may not see it in your headlines. Do not read or heed your headlines. They are designed to drag you down. Heed your heart. And yes, it is human na nature to want to know what is going on. Do not indulge the human nature that enjoys, and we do not enjoy using the name of joy, but this is how your English language works. But human nature does enjoy drama, does it not? <laughs> yes. And that is what sells newspaper subscriptions. <laughs> And so, tune into your heart and know that you can make a difference by turning up your light. And you will not see instant harmony in this lifetime, but let that not dismay you. We are not at all dismayed or discouraged. For as each of you turn up your light and leave the human body behind and cross through the veil, which is nothing more, than a vibratory level, we welcome you home. And we ask you, what have you brought us? And it is not a thing. It is your being. It is your light. How much brighter has your light glowed over time? Time can seem a curse to the blended being, but it is an opportunity, a tool to practice unconditional love. Very few achieve light being status whilst in a human body for the very nature of the body, but it can be overcome if that is your goal, we assure you, you will fulfill your purpose. You have heard that life is a test. You will not be graded. No one is judging you at all. We simply wish for you to enjoy this life, to love with all of your heart, for love, loves, love. And you are so very loved. We bid you good afternoon. Good afternoon.